had an astrologer read my chart one time. He said, 2020 onwards, your time is going to change completely. The, the most important thing will be, are you, will, you, will you be ready for the change? Are you going to be ready to run with it? So right now, I am heeding his or her words and trying to run as fast as I can. When I was thinking of the name of the company, I had the dream of a tigress. I was going through a lot of challenging times and I looked it up and tiger sent like challenging times and you will conquer it. And it's just so powerful in South Asia to have tiger in your dream, tigress, um, that I, I said like the visual of the company needs to be a tigress. And hence I found the name Tag Mahal. Hi, my name is Surbhi Sahani. I'm chef and owner of Tagmo NYC. We are an Indian home style restaurant located in South Street Seaport. We also have a sweet shop in the front where we do artisanal Indian Mithai. For me right now, like the Mithai aspect of it is the most important aspect, which I'd like to really grow. And I would like, if anyone thinks of Mithai in the US, they think of our company first. So Mithai is Indian confections that are made with nuts, they are made with reduced milk uh, and using a product called Koya. I've also done my own take on most of the Mithai. Oh my god, it's fantastic. I like the sugar crunch. There's a lot of vegan sweets that we have. We have a lot of nut-free sweets. And a lot of it is regionally sort of different. They're kind of like Indian chocolates, if you want to call it that way, but there's really no chocolate in it. Before Diwali, we've started doing our production in Long Island City, and here we are in our kitchen with all my amazing staff behind me. We have about 16 varieties of sweets, um, ranging from doing a lentil-based sweets to a carrot-based sweet, to like something that's made with chickpea flowers, uh, using pistachios and almonds and lots of ghee and lots of sugar, and it's in this space smells sugary and nice. That concept didn't exist before I started it. So like no one was doing confections like in the same way. The sweets were larger, they were very sweet. It's an old style of presentation. I wanted to do more something that was beautiful to look like, like sort of when you open the box, you're like, oh my God, this is so pretty. Can I eat all of them? I am Amy, I am Chef Suri's assistant. This is Raju who joined our team this Diwali season. Right now we have the flavors rose coconut, basin ladu, and caramel. These trays will also get chocolate burfi and that's our nut-free collection. It's also like, I feel like we eat so much with our eyes and so I wanted the box and the packaging to be really beautiful and like really stand out. I want to be that company that brings this product and everyone in the US knows what's Matai because of me. Yeah, the Godiva of Matai will be good. I'm a hippie who's like, f believes in free love. I love my staff here, it's super queer, very friendly. They're part of my extended family. I see them all the time. I joke with them, I talk to them. <laughs> I think like a few years, maybe like 10 years back, I, I started thinking what is it that I want to be doing and at one point I knew that I wanted to be working mostly with women. Then I started thinking about my immediate community and what that would take. But also we are a queer-friendly restaurant and we very, very intentionally put out that message so that we can have those partnerships. 80 to 90% of our staff are queer and or women identifying and or gender non-conforming. And I think that makes for a really special like work environment. Chef Serby really is proud of the team that she's created. She's proud to employ women of color and our entire uh, head management is actually all female. So we want to be able to create sort of a loving environment, an open environment, a really welcoming environment. 
We've hosted like a queer pride party here, like after dinner service where we've like done custom cocktails and that was like really fun. It's about how do you thrive and build, you know, the world that you want to see. Take um, care of each other. Yeah, and take care of each other. If we're not connecting with people that are working with us, and not making them feel safe, not making them feel like, oh yeah, I definitely want to go into work here. And there's something sort of amiss. Good intentions and maintaining the quality of what you're cooking can take you very far. It doesn't have to be a lot, you know? We launched a company in 2019 and initially was going to just be uh, only gift packaging and sweets. And then of course COVID hit. People were missing food that was cooked by their moms. They couldn't travel to India and started doing homestyle Indian food. Like something that I've been always thinking about because in New York I was finding restaurants were either doing very high end or it was fast food. There was nothing sort of in the middle and I wanted to bridge that gap. A lot of the thought process was to make sure that I was picking dishes from different regions. Pretty. Oh, that looks so nice. So we're making the Anglo-Indian curry. I have tomatoes. I make this powder with whole red chilies, cloves, poppy seeds, sort of a mixture. And then I have like roasted garlic in here and fresh coconut. And I'm going to mix everything together. I didn't know how it was going to be received. Uh, and we had like 40, 50 orders. Like that was our first day of operations. And I was like, wow, like I think maybe we had a jackpot here to be like, yeah, this is the kind of style of food I want to be cooking. It was amazing. I think COVID was amazing for it. Like as a, like a big yes. The whole idea of Tagmo has been about community building. Have you seen people thrive? Oh yeah, like people have thrived, they have grown as, as human beings, and they all say like, oh, you know, one of the great things about this restaurant is that we love coming to work. And I always wanted to create that space that you like coming to work. This is my finding as an artist for the kind of work I want to be producing for the next, whatever, 20 years. Eventually I'll re retire, I hope, at some point. That's it for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza DeGia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week.